Hey folks, Scott Sega with you here, RTC TV4. Today we've got David Colger along with his son Martin Colger in here. And uh, these guys are going to talk about a new tournament coming up, or a, I would say new, but an upcoming tournament here in Rochester in Fulton County. And uh, it's a martial arts tournament, so I'm going to turn it over to the black belts themselves and uh, we'll find out a little bit about this. First of all, guys, welcome. Thanks for being here. Why, thank you. It's a pleasure to come down and talk to you. And uh, I got some compliments on the interview I did with you from some folks. They got to know you a little bit more when we did that. Talked about Blue Dragon. I uh, received a lot of comments and a few students out of it and all that, and that's good. But the main purpose for doing that was to try to enlighten and let them know a little bit more about the martial arts and Taekwondo and where it came from and, you know, the positive aspects of it yeah. not just yeah. the physical the mental absolutely so we had a great conversation there you've gotten a hold of me you've been working well since we talked you've got a big tournament coming up here why don't you go ahead and tell folks a little bit about that well what we're having is uh it's called martial art mania uh, we're working with uh it's lions karate out of north webster excellent and we're bringing in hopefully a lot of local schools, plus some schools uh, come from Cincinnati, out wow. of the Gary, different areas. We're hoping that they'll come back up. Uh, one of the main reasons for doing the tournament was not only to get the martial artists together mm -hmm. and it's friendship, it's seeing what's going on, all that good stuff. Right. But this is going to be a way to hopefully raise some money that we're donating back to the cross country and track teams oh, no in kidding. Rochester. No kidding. So you're um, holding a tournament at a uh, martial arts tournament at Rochester Middle School. Correct. And the funds from those who come in, the proceeds from that will actually go back and, and help fund the school's athletic programs. A it, couple of them. A couple ones. of them. Specific ones. This guy, I'll and, tell you what. That's a great idea, Dave. And we did this uh, when we were up in Angola. We worked with the YMCA up there. Gotcha. And over a five, six-year period, we raised about forty-five to $50,000 wow. for the Y. Wow. Now, that took some time to build the sure. tournaments, build the program. But what the martial arts is about is giving back. Yeah. And this is one way we can give back that great. to the community in that. Excellent. Yeah. So tell folks when this event is. The event is on April 14th. It's okay. at the Rochester Middle School. Um, registration will start about 9.30 in the morning. We'll have a black belt meeting at 11.30. And the events will start at noon. Okay. And what we end up doing is we'll have some, you know, the color belts, the white through, red, brown. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, they'll go first in their events, and they'll do uh, open hand forms, okay. uh, patterns, whatever so they'll, the They'll be judged is. on the forms and patterns, They'll right? be judged on that, okay. and then they'll do sparring. Okay. And that's ice fighting. That's the watch. controlled fighting. You that's, and I talked about that in our interview. That's controlled fighting. Controlled fighting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Youngsters get carried away sometimes, <laughs> but uh, it's controlled, and... Then the black belts right. will go. And what's fun is to watch the black belts sure. and the techniques. And it gives the youngsters and the other color belts coming up an opportunity to see what's coming for them. Yep. That's and, really neat. Uh, it's really so the black belts program. will be later in the day? Yes. Okay, very good. Again, we're talking uh, April 14th. That's at Rochester Middle School. If you are in martial arts here locally, whether you're part of the Blue Dragons or I know that we've got some other groups here in town. That's right. Every every martial arts school is invited. Excellent. Um, that's one thing that we always push is mm -hmm. we're an open school. We go to open tournaments so you can fellowship and learn from each other. Excellent. It's not my programs better than anybody else's. Right. It's Let's work together to improve it. this. It's all inclusive. I like That's that. Right. Now, Martin, I'll turn it over to you for a minute. You don't sure. just get to be the, the, <laughs> the pretty part of this uh, interview oh, here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you are a black belt. What degree are you? I am a fifth degree black you belt. You are a fifth degree. Yes, Very sir. good. Dad's a sixth. Is that correct? Yes, yep. I remember that from our interview. Going for seven. <laughs> Going for seven. <laughs> One more year. You, from the interview with your dad, you actually were on a real circuit of doing some sparring at one point, correct? Actually some fighting? Yep, yep. I uh, I did uh, sort of a, 
a, a small circuit up in the Angola area. Okay. Um, cage fighting, UFC style esque. I mean, it was very pre before that. Wow. Um, uh, and, and I held a record of seven and zero on just a very amateur level. Wow, that's so. great though. Seven and zero. There were seven guys you beat, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah a couple of forfeits too, okay, but yeah, it happens. happens. Yeah, what one guy uh, to get his seventh fight? Uh huh. The guy forfeited to him because he was watching him do techniques. <laughs> so he got in his head. <laughs> Saw you practice and did yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now this is more. Um, yeah, you're not going to see that UFC uh, no, cage no. style here. This is more controlled. Mm -hmm. This is specifically picking your points. Yes. Whether it's a kick to the head, and again, you've got pads and gear on. Yep. Um, but whether it's the kick to the head or a punch to the sternum, you are making those decisions as you're sparring with this other individual, correct? Yep. And, and along those same lines, it, it, it is a friendship tournament. Okay. So we're not... We're not out there looking to break bones right, or, right. or maim any of us. Score most, point, you're good. Yeah, yeah, most of us have to work, you know, two days <laughs> after the fact, and you can't do that from a hospital bed. Right, so. right. Well, absolutely. Yeah. Well, for those of you that don't know, Martin is, in fact, uh, part of the RTC crew here. You've been with us, what, three years now? Yep, yep, three years now. Three years in the support department. If you call in, you may uh, end up having Martin fix that for you, and he could probably show you a thing or two uh, from the Taekwondo books as well if <laughs> yep. he has to do the house call. But... Uh, you guys are just doing great things, and not only are we here promoting the event, and we want folks to go just to watch, just to spectate. How much for spectators? It's five dollars okay. for the spectators, and uh, you know that, that that's going to a good cause. It's covering your cost, but it's, it's also taking care of these athletic programs at the Rochester High School. That's right. Mm -hmm. All look. That's great. We cover the cost of the food and some of the trophies, and then the rest comes back. So that's great. We're we're hoping. Uh, to get right around 80 to 100 competitors. Wow, that'd be nice. Uh, that's, that's our top goal for the first year. Mm -hmm. After that, we'd like to be able to build it up to get right around 180 to 200. No kidding. That'd be a think, nice event. I think oh, yeah. that could be done. Oh, that's fantastic. And, uh, and of course, you know, we don't, talk, most of you aren't thinking in these terms, but every person who comes to Rochester from somewhere else, Needs to buy gasoline, needs to buy food, That's needs correct. to maybe shop for something. Mm -hmm. So you're bringing income into into the uh, community, and we love that, too. So. Well, that, that's the positive part. Yeah. That's why I say hidden benefit. Even yeah. if you only get a third of them sure. and you, we've got 80 competitors, yeah. you've got moms and dads yeah, with them. So it sort of compounds it. Absolutely does. Just it absolutely some more business does. and... Well, good for All you. That, so. Tell everybody again where you guys are located as far as your jujitsu, or not jujitsu, I'm sorry. Your, <laughs> Taekwondo. Do, is, it, is, it, is it called a dojo? Dojang. Dojang, okay. So where's your dojang? Our dojang is at 1553 Old North 31. It's out towards the Dean's plan. Yep. It's on the right side. Um, and what we really push is the traditional International Taekwondo Federation mm -hmm. uh, system. We were fortunate, both of us, to train with General Choi, yeah. the founder of it, yeah. and we're underneath his son. That's so we don't veer from that. Right. It's you strict discipline to the to the, to the art, mm -hmm. but we're also open to anybody that wants to come in and learn and train, and we we just enjoy it. You tried like you tried to back. get me to come back in and, uh, and do some training, and well, one of these days you're going to get me, Dave. I promise. <laughs> well. One of the things that I was looking back, mm -hmm. I have a paper. It was given to me by, I shouldn't say this, old third-degree black belt, <laughs> okay. Mr. Carl Adley. Okay, okay. <laughs> but I think it was 1988 was the last time there was a Taekwondo tournament in Rochester. No kidding, 88. 88 is when I believe it was. That's fantastic. And there were a bunch of good martial artists. Yeah. And I've been fortunate to get some of their sons. Oh, that's fantastic. And it, it, it's fun. It's enjoyable <laughs> to watch it. And, sure. You know, it just livens up. Well, it's a great thing you guys are doing, keeping everybody fit. Uh, we want to encourage you folks to go and attend in person to watch some martial arts. If you're new, your kids are curious, maybe you're curious about it, a great day to watch the forms, the patterns, some of the sparring, get to see the younger um, ranks do it first, and then... In the afternoon, of course, you'll have the black belts kicking it off, if you mm -hmm. will. That's right. Yep. 
We're going to try very hard to get you some footage of this, hopefully live. We'll see what uh, we can accommodate for you on that uh, April 14th. I think it'll be neat. I think our viewers would really uh, enjoy seeing that, as well as you know, shining a spotlight on some of your um, com competitors and what they're doing. Sure. Yeah. And one, one of the things and what I appreciate with this is even if you can't make it out there to see the tournament, you mm -hmm. have kids that are interested in it. Mm -hmm. They're usually afraid to go to their first tournament. We're talking about six to okay. eight year olds, right? So you got to get them out there to see it. Sure, it gives them a chance to see oh, it like and what it. they're doing, and that other kids are doing this, and that, that's great. That in itself, it gets them some positive rewards Excellent. and confidence, and right. that's what it's about. Well, fantastic, and I know you're sincere in that. Again. You've got Dave Colger, Martin Colger here from Blue Dragon Taekwondo, a 6th degree and 5th degree black belt, so I'm not going to mess with them. But uh, some really good guys doing great things here. Again, it's April 14th at Rochester Middle School. If you're a competitor, get there early around the 9 o'clock hour. If you want to go and watch, get there around the noon hour, and you'll be able to see some great activities that day. So thanks again, guys, and uh, thank you for watching here on RTC. Thank you thank very you. much.